<clears throat> hey everybody, uh, Miss T here. I want to show you guys how to complete this star spectra gizmo that is our next assignment. Um, so the first thing is you're going to take your login from right up here, copy and paste it right in here, copy and paste right in here. And we're going to go ahead and log in. We're going to use the Star Spectra Gizmo. We're going to hit launch. And we have this. So what you'll want to do is click show labels so that you have the numbered stars. Um, and we'll come to our gizmo and we'll see these are the questions we have to answer. So prior knowledge, these are things that we've gone over or things that you should know from previous science courses. And then we start up right here. They want you to focus on star number one. So the interior of a star, you guys can read through this. I'm not gonna go ahead, but when you click on star number one, you'll see your spectra and then you can match it up to this. So what you're gonna do is, um, figure out exactly which spectra match this one that we have the unknown star and it may be more than one so this might be a little bit different we haven't worked too much with this but there's different gases that are in each star so we have different spectra that show up so the star spectra we kind of see what this would go with um and i'm looking at it looks like definitely hydrogen and also helium, just based on this line matches with this line, and this line matches with this line. It also has this one and this one. So for number star number one, um, I would put hydrogen and helium. So um, it also asks you how many lines you see in the spectrum total. It wants you to go and count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so you can put that right in there, and then. Does it match the hydrogen one? Does it match the helium one? And you'll go through it and you'll see um, that it does. So um, what you guys are going to do with the rest of them is we already did star number one, but you'll see that the predominant spectral lines will also tell you the color of the star, the class of the star, and the surface temperature of the star. So um, you will see that there's this neutral spectra and there's an ionic spectra. So you want to test both of them out for each star. So this one happened to be still the same, but um, for the other ones, it probably won't be. So like this star spectra, it's got a lot of lines. It's got a lot to look at. You might want to check it out like ionic, um, and then list it in here. So that's what you guys are going to do. So basically, you'll figure the class, the color, and the surface temperature out after you figure out what elements are in each star. And that's pretty much all we're doing in this lab. Um, so good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.